I'm not getting in that. Nick! Only the best for us, right? Oh. What is this? This is this is the American dream. This is the American dream. Wow, well I've seen it in picture. But I've, to see it in real life doesn't even comprehend. Oh no. I mean look at it. It's something you have to really take in. It's so know? it's so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Well, good morning and welcome to the Olympic National Park here in the Pacific Northwest. This, this is our accommodation. You saw it briefly before as Nick picked me up uh, in that car park of Seattle. Um, but yeah, this is going to be our home for the next three and a half weeks. It's going to be our mobile home. Myself, Nick Page, Gavin Hardcastle, Adam Giggs and Greg Snell. And we're working on this project. Um, and which I'm very excited about, but I have to say I'm also a little bit nervous about. But those guys, they don't arrive until tomorrow, so it's just me and Nick. So essentially, me and Nick have a, a free day before the project starts, um, well, tomorrow. So we're going to go and check out some of these, uh, these rainforests, some of these giant forests full of green moss. And the weather's perfect for it. It's wet, it's overcast, so we can pretty much shoot all day. And I'm quite excited because these woodlands, these forests, they're just epic. It's not like anything I've really experienced before. So, Nick, as you can see, loitering around the background. <laughs> loitering. <laughs> Waiting for me to wrap up so we can jump in the car and go shooting. Uh, so yeah, very much looking forward to this. And let's go and see if we can get some nice Pacific Northwest woodland images. All right, let's go. So we have arrived at our photography, photographic location. Ah, I don't know if you can tell, I'm not sure if it comes across on camera or not. <laughs> but it's absolutely chucking it down. So much so that I'm not even sure it's going to be possible for us to shoot. I don't know if we'll safely be able to get our gear out without risk of absolutely destroying it. Now I shoot cannon and I, I stand by my cannon and do believe that it is bomb proof. But, you know, this weather is really going to test it today. I have a, a tiny, tiny umbrella. And that's all I have to protect my camera gear. But yeah, this place that we're at looks phenomenal. It really does. So we're only about two minutes into this trail and we've just come up above this creek and down below in the creek you can see a family of about five otters all eating fish. They've all caught some decent sized fish and you can just see them. I haven't quite got the length on this camera to get a close up shot but from where I'm stood it just looks fantastic. What a way. I know it's raining and it's, it's fairly you know, miserable, but what a way to start this beautiful hike in the Olympic National Park to see a family of otters eating some fish, not bothered by us at all, just 50 feet down the bank here in the creek below. Absolutely phenomenal. What a, what a way, what a way to start this trip. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, you can see those trees behind me. Absolutely phenomenal. Let me just get focus here because the camera's focusing all over the place. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this before. It's just, I don't know, it's, um, it's like something from another world. And it's quite funny because we, myself and Nick, uh, we approach this area with these beautiful, giant moss-covered trees. They're phenomenal. And as we approached the area, I was like, you know, getting super excited, thinking how, how, how much I wanted to get my camera out and shoot this. And then I, uh, I said to Nick, I said, I'm assuming these have been shot to death, right? And he's like, yeah, these, these are famous trees. But what's funny is I've never, I've never seen these. I don't recall any images of these. So I'm very, I feel very, very lucky to be able to stand here at what I'm sure is a fairly, a fairly well-known area, well-known scene. But I've got completely fresh eyes because this is a first for me. So I'm gonna try and shoot it. The rain is coming down hard. And in a way that aesthetically adds to the scene. It adds a lot of atmosphere and a lot of mood. But technically, it's a real challenge. Trying to keep the camera dry, this camera dry that I'm filming with, uh, it's gonna be a challenge. But let's have a go and see if I can get a shot here, which I'm pretty sure I can. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that, I'm really struggling here. Uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, but I'll briefly talk through what I've just done. <laughs> uh, F9, and I've focused on the main trees there. Now, ordinarily, I would use a polarizer, but uh, it's not, it's, it's not going to work. It's just going to add to the complications. This is already hard enough, so no filters. Manually focus, and I've just done a series of panels from left to right, trying my best to exclude the sky and try and capture the whole scene. I'm rushing, I'm struggling, it's wet, I'm worried about my camera game, I'm worried about this camera. Uh, so I'm not, I have not much confidence in this image. But this is a beautiful spot, but we've got to get out of here. So I'm going to quickly pack away and uh, see if we can find shelter. So, there are, there are two types of photography. There is the type of photography where you plan, you explore, you hike, you search for compositions, you use patience in your artistic eye. And that is what me and Nick have been doing for the past day or so. And then there's a second type of photography, which is opportunistic photography. The type of photography where you're not necessarily looking for an image, but one presents itself to you there and then, and you just have to shoot it, and that is exactly what has happened here. So me and Nick were driving down this road that you can see behind me, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the clouds parted and the light started to stream through. We weren't expecting this, but it was still raining really heavily, and you can see there were beautiful trees all along this road. So me and Nick, we just knew that there was gonna be an opportunity, that it has to be with heavy rain, backlight, beautiful trees, so we pulled the car over, I got shelter under Nick's tailgate with the long lens and just found this gorgeous tree, just roadside, it's just, just there somewhere, I don't know, just over there. And it still has these golden brown leaves clinging to it, interesting shapes with the branches and green moss. But you throw in the backlight and the heavy rain and you are able to create, or at least I created, uh, <laughs> sound like I'm tooting my own trumpet here, but I captured what I think is a wonderfully abstract image. Uh, my, one of my favourite types of photography, my favourite genre, is intimate, abstract, kind of the elements where you don't necessarily know what you're looking at. I love that type of photography and that is exactly what I've captured here. I focused on the golden leaves. Hang on, where are we? There we go, that tree there. 
focused on that tree, on the golden leaves. You can see we've got rain falling now. F6.3, just to give a, a nice soft shallow depth of field so that it, it's, uh, it has that ethereal look to it. And just fired off a few images, tried to shield my lens from the direct sun so I didn't get any lens flare. And it all happened in a split second. It was opportunistic, it was reactive, and you know, that can be equally as fun as exploring trails for hours and hours looking for images. So, very, very happy. It's gone from what was a frustrating day to a day where we now have light and uh, an image in the can. So, yeah, feeling good about it. Feeling good. So the sun's gone in and the rain has continued. Very shortly, Adam Gibbs, Gavin Hardcastle and Mr. Greg Snell will be arriving. And then the adventure is really gonna begin. It's gonna be a big project. It's gonna be months and months and months before we sort of, before it comes into fruition, I suppose. But I'm very, very much excited. Um, if you wanna find out more about what we're doing and what's going on, uh, go to F4 Road Trip dot com and then there's a newsletter you can sign up for where you'll be getting updates and you know all sorts all sorts of information and behind the scenes shenanigans from the next few weeks right i'm gonna bid you farewell and wait for those guys and i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit nervous for the next three and a half weeks halts for us will we survive <laughs> Road trip adventure begin. One, two, three, road trip! <laughs>